This is the first piece of music that you hear when you play Undertale, but it's also not the last time that you hear this theme. Many people, including myself, feel that Undertale creates a strong sense of nostalgia. But how does this fictional game about monsters and humans create such a strong sense of nostalgia? Nostalgia is one of those weird, complex feelings that you've probably experienced many times in your life, especially as you get older. You might remember a show you watched when you were a kid, or come across a game that you and your siblings used to always play, or hear a song that you haven't heard in over 10 years. Many people have been researching nostalgia over hundreds of years, and have come to a similar conclusion that nostalgia is a result of us remembering a pleasant past experience and feeling upset that it has happened, but also feeling glad that it did happen. It's a bittersweet emotion that is a mixture of many emotions and memories. Nostalgia can have many definitions depending on who you talk to, but the most common form of nostalgia can be described as a longing for your past personal life when things were simpler, easier, and you just felt happier. Christine Batro, PhD, is a professor of psychology at Le Moyne College and a licensed psychologist. She defines nostalgia as the following. The word was coined or invented a long time ago, over 300 years ago, and originally it designated homesickness. Well, semantic drift over the centuries has broadened that to the notion of longing for or missing aspects of a person's personal lived past. And so that is the kind of nostalgia, or that is what I mean when I talk about nostalgia, and it's a wonderfully complex paradoxical experience. So how do you feel nostalgic about a game that is so recent, having only been released over six years? Six years ago? Well, I guess that explains why you feel nostalgic about it. I guess I'll see you in the next video. Okay, well, other than the fact that it was released over six years ago, why do you feel nostalgia while playing the game? I'm not talking about this game being similar to other games like Earthbound, I'm talking about why do you feel nostalgic about the start of Undertale when playing through the game nearing the end? Well, from what I discussed earlier, it would make sense to just say that since Undertale is such a good game with such a great storyline, you miss the feeling of being able to play a good game from the start again. Now that you have either finished the game or are near the end of the game, a wave of nostalgia wraps around you as you wish you could go back to that time when you started playing the game and experience the whole game again afresh. But there's something that's often overlooked in Undertale that plays a major role in the reason that you feel nostalgic about the game when you play it. Remember how I said that this wasn't the first time that you would hear this theme in the game? Well, this theme appears in the game 17 times in different styles, sounds and moods. This technique is called a leitmotif, which is a short musical phrase closely linked to a character or place and Toby Fox knew exactly how to use it to his advantage. This first motif is considered the main theme of the game, as it appears the most often throughout the whole soundtrack. It even appeared before the game was released, in the official Undertale trailer. This allowed people to become familiar with the theme before the game had even been released. Here are some examples of some tracks that use this light motif. Now whether you realise this or not, when you are playing through the game, doesn't really matter. 
What matters is that you hear this leitmotif so many times in so many different settings that when you're playing later in the game, you, it feels like something that you've always known. It's hard to exactly identify when this theme became familiar to you. But what exactly makes this simple theme feel so comfortable and safe? One of the main reasons is that it is heard very early on in the game, in a safe and comfortable environment, Toriel's home, on a warm MIDI classical guitar. But musically, this theme rarely moves away from some variation of the home chord, which has a very stable sound, making it feel calm and comfortable. There are so many more leitmotifs that are used in this game that allow characters and places to be identified by a certain theme, and that's exactly the purpose of a leitmotif. The Snowden leitmotif is one of my favourites. It has a bittersweet feel to it. When I was playing Undertale, I must admit that I never realised how intertwined all of the music in the game is, but subconsciously, my brain made connections between all the times I had heard the same leitmotif, even though I didn't realise it, because it blends into each piece so well. As I was nearing the end of the game, I experienced that weird, bittersweet feeling of nostalgia as I remembered the beginning of the game when things were simpler. Undertale does a lot of things right, and the music is no exception. I find it pretty interesting and exciting how well Toby Fox uses leitmotifs in the game, and effectively enough to make you feel nostalgic in the game itself. The Undertale wiki has a comprehensive list of all the leitmotifs in the game and where they appear, so be sure to check it out if you're interested. I hope you enjoyed the video today and got something out of it. Thanks for watching and I gotta get back to this game.